Microsoft Office 2010 has a lot of nice picture tools so that when you're adding pictures or even clip art to your uh, documents, you can dress them up so easy. I've added a few pictures from the Microsoft Clip Art Gallery here just to play with and show you what they're like. We'll start with this picture of the girl getting on the school bus. And when you click on a picture, you'll notice that up at the top you get a new picture tools Men, new picture tools tab and if you click on the format tab the first thing I'm going to show you are these picture styles right here if you hit this drop down arrow where it says more you'll get all the available picture styles and if you just move your mouse over the picture and look at the picture while I move my mouse over these you'll see how that picture looks with that effect so it's really easy to do some nice effects with the different pictures. You know, maybe I like something about this one right here, but I want it rotated. Well, I'll pick this one where it's snipped on the corners. After I select that option, I can still rotate it. Notice this little green button at the top. If I click there, I can turn that picture a little bit so I can still have the snipped corners effect with a rotated picture. And I'll pick this one. This one would look nice with an oval because there's a lot of edging over here. So let's find an oval one. There's oval with a wide white border. There's an oval with the nice soft edges. Okay, and then you can do anything, even an inanimate object. Let me move these around a little bit. Bring this one up here. So we have an object here maybe I want to make it a button. I can do that. I like that effect. And let's say I like this, but I want to give it a button effect. Well, there are more effects over here. This is not it. These are just some pre-designed styles. So I can go to, let me move this so you see it. I can go to picture layout. Oops, not right one. Picture effects. And Let's go to the reflection. We've got glow, we've got soft edges, we've got bevel. The bevel is the one that gives you the button look. So let's see if we can see how this button looks. Let me move this out of the way. Okay, now we'll see picture effects, bevel. So as I move my mouse over them, you can see how that changes the look. Ah, that's looking more like a button. So you can keep moving over them until it works just right for the picture that you have. And if I want it to be a button, to look like a button, I could just do something like that, make it smaller. Now let's look at just a few more other things that you have. Let's try it with this picture. Let's try it with this picture right here. Over to the left-hand side of the form picture format toolbar, you've got remove background. And that one doesn't work very well very often. Yeah, it's for some reason, yeah, we don't want that. So I'll get rid of that. You've got corrections where you can, as you move your mouse, you can make it brighter or darker. You also have color. Maybe for some reason you want to give that picture just a kind of a different kind of effect, like the green or something. I'll take that off again. Or artistic effects. Now, I'm not an art teacher, but isn't that different? And I kind of like those looks. I mean, that really, I'm not sure about that one, but I think this is very neat looking and this one too. So depending upon your purpose, that could look really cool. So play with all the different picture effects. Again, when you click on any picture, you'll get picture tools formatting. Go to the format and you've got lots of different options that you can play with.